A stroke happens when blood can't get to a part of your brain, causing brain cells to die. There are two types of stroke, ischemic and hemorrhagic. A hemorrhagic stroke happens when an artery, a blood vessel that supplies the brain, breaks and bleeds. This can be caused by an aneurysm or a weak spot in the wall of an artery, in a birth defect called an arterial venous malformation or AVM, or it could be uncontrolled high blood pressure. Hemorrhagic stroke causes blood to leak into the brain. This keeps nearby brain cells from getting the oxygen and nutrients they need, because bleeding causes pressure to build up in surrounding tissues, causing irritation and swelling. All of these conditions can cause the cells in your brain to die. The symptoms of stroke include sudden numbness or weakness in the face, arm, or leg, especially on one side of the body. Also, there could be altered mental status like sudden confusion, trouble speaking, or difficulty understanding speech. There could be trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance, or lack of coordination. Also, in some cases, there is a sudden severe headache with no known cause. Now, here we are at the most critical part of this video. Before that, make sure to subscribe and support us so you can get amazing content. Moving on, the most critical time for a patient having a stroke is the first three hours. So it's extremely important to identify and diagnose the stroke within this time frame to get the patient the best medical therapy. So if you notice any of the symptoms above, act fast. I mean, literally F-A-S-T fast. A fast test is performed to rule out the possibility of stroke in the emergency room, and this is how it should be performed. F for face. Ask the person to smile. Does one side of the face droop? A for arms. Ask the person to raise both arms. Does one arm drift downward? S for speech. Ask the person to repeat a simple phrase. Is the speech slurred or strange? Lastly T for time, if you see any of these signs, it's time to immediately rule out the stroke. Now if you have acted fast enough, what should be tested next? Well, the next step is to perform a vital and systemic examination. In patients with hemorrhagic stroke, there is a higher possibility of hypertensive crisis or abnormally high blood pressure. When you check for pupillary response of patient, it is usually diminished or there will be loss of the papillary reflex or pupil constriction when light is shown on the eyes. These are all indicative of increased intracranial pressure. There could also be a Cushing triad. What is this Cushing triad now? Cushing's triad refers to a group of signs that are suggestive of increased intracranial pressure or increased pressure in the brain. Cushing's triad consists of bradycardia, commonly known as a low heart rate, irregular respirations, and a raised pulse pressure. We have made a separate video on the Cushing triad. You can watch it in the description below. The next step is to perform a diagnostic CT scan. A CT scan is the most important diagnostic tool in identifying a hemorrhagic stroke as it takes less time to perform and is easily available in all medical facilities. So how can you see a hematoma on a CT scan? It is seen by pre-contrast CT imaging as an area of high density. CT can detect acute intracerebral blood as small as 2 mm, due to contrast between high density of blood and low density of surrounding brain. Once you confirm the hemorrhages in the CT scan, immediate masseur must be taken to avoid its complications. The treatment for the stroke depends on the location of the stroke and the severity of complications. One of the measure sign of stroke is increased intracranial pressure due to persistence bleeding in the brain. The injection mannitol, an osmotic diuretic, which we have seen in previous video, is given intravenously. Also, to avoid seizures, anti-epileptic drugs such as levacetazem should also be given with it. It's important to keep the patient NBM to prevent the risk of aspiration. The patient may need a procedure in which the surgeon places a special wire in the brain through a blood vessel in their leg, arm, or neck. The wire leaves behind a plug that helps stop the bleeding in the brain. To stop the bleeding in the brain, you could require a surgical operation called a craniotomy. In order for the surgeon to reach the bleeding blood vessel and fix it, a small portion of your skull is removed. You may develop lifelong problems as a result of a stroke. 
The sooner you receive therapy, the greater your chance of healing. Hemorrhagic stroke is caused by bleeding in your brain. Get medical care right away if you suspect a stroke. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.